Ah, maybe I gave him knight c5. Oh, he doesn't play it. Okay, I'll... I'll play f3. Defending e4. Um, yeah. Complicated position. Probably rook d8. So he's turning knight c5. So I should deal with that. So maybe queen c2. Oof, I'm very low on time. Okay, let's speed up. Okay. Bishop c4, rook c1. I want to play b4 maybe. Okay. Let's go b4. Ah, b4, I don't really like it. So he might want to try to trick me, playing some h4, h3, weakening f3. I'm going to try and exchange some pieces. Rook takes. Takes. Okay, doesn't take. Okay, I'm going to probably take rook d1. I don't really like this. Ah, oh, wait, I'm blundering a piece. Okay, rook d1. This position is good for me, but I have too little time. Ah, I need to play quicker. Okay, h3. Bishop c5, I'll just take it. King h2, queen d8. Quickly. Queen e7. Queen. Ah, it's probably just gonna flag me, isn't he? Yeah. Ah, it's too fast. Way too fast. Yeah. Ah, annoying, yeah. It's playing too quickly. Okay, so yeah, I should probably try to play faster and talk less, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I got a decent position in that game, but time got the better of me. Okay, let's see how it goes with black. B3, okay. So I'll just play my usual repertoire against this. Bishop g7, castles, I want to play f5. d6, bring my knight to f6, and then just go all in and attack. So h5, h4, see what he wants. Yeah, that's normal move. I'll play knight g4. And yeah, sometimes I, I might consider g5. Yeah, okay, so he doesn't want me to play g5. So I'll play c6, dominating his knight on c3. And okay, so bishop d7. Actually, maybe bishop e6 was better. I'm going to play bishop f6, which might scare him. Okay, it doesn't scare him. Can I take here? Am I missing something? Ah, he can just play this move. Mm. Okay. Okay, rook e8. Yeah, this isn't good. I just missed rook e8. Rook f3, sorry. Um, okay, so let's go back. So uh, we have two pawns for the piece, and he has slightly awkward pieces, but I don't think should be enough. Okay, king g7. Okay, rook b8. Let's play h4. See. See if we can get something over there. Okay, so 
Let's go back. I don't want to exchange queens in this position. When you're down material, that's usually not a good idea. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, I'll I'll give him the two rooks. Should be six. Should take c four. Should should be a losing position, but maybe there's still some fighting chances. So c five. I don't wanna lose a pawn for nothing. I mean, at least his a five pawn is. Not going anywhere for the moment. Bishop f1. Okay, queen d8. Want to take that pawn? Oh, he's just going to give it to me. Okay, take it. Queen a1. Pretend like I'm threatening something. Uh, which I'm probably not. Um, that's a strange move. Okay, I'll go bishop a6. I'm going to go bishop b7, try to create something there. z3 pawn is now kind of weak, so you'll have to have that in mind. Can he do this? Looks kind of strange. Okay, I'm going to take this guy. And let's go back, maybe knight e4. Knight g3, something like this. So what, what's the material? Okay, so I'm a piece down, basically. I'm going to go knight h5, knight g3. Again, I have to be careful with the time. Queen b2. Okay, so he's going for it. I'm going to play g5, maybe. Maybe knight f4. Okay, king h6, getting out of any sneaky threats, g4, g3, let's go, g3, oh, he dropped a knight, it's good, uh, now we should try to uh, not blunder anything, knight f4, Maybe. See what he wants to do. I want to go queen f3 next. I want to just checkmate him. Queen f3. Pre move take on f4. Uh, h3 maybe. h2. Come on. Queen f2. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Oh, and mate. Yes. That was a important win. So, at least we're not going to get destroyed 9 to 0. So, that's the good news. On to the next game. Okay, so I'm going to repeat if, if or I liked the position I got. This time I'll just try to play a bit faster. Castles, rookie 1. I didn't see any. Reason not to play this, bishop b2, okay, maybe, maybe, okay, it takes, it takes, bishop b2, bishop c4, okay, should be 3 maybe bishop c4 is slightly inaccurate, maybe I should play bishop f1 simply, bishop, and keep my bishop pair. But I mean, I think he's an aggressive player, so... Playing so something quiet like this seems seems like a good idea, no? Um, mm, that's a good move. That's a good move. What can I play? Okay, I I'm gonna play a4. He'll probably take on b3. I don't really like this. Queen h4, okay. So, I'm not sure I like that move. I think I would take and play knight d5. And maybe claim that my bishop is better than his. Because his sort of 
hits his own pawn on d4 while mine attacks f7. Bishop b3. So now I think I'm, I'm going to play queen d3, g3, just play solidly. Maybe double on the e file and try to get e5, e6 in. Yeah, g3. Um, hmm. Okay, so g3. See what he wants. Okay, rook e2, rook e1 to follow. And yeah, his only break. Okay, so g5. Wow. Interesting. Not sure I really <laughs> believe this move because now I'm gonna play e5. So bishop e5 is probably oh rook e5. What is this? Why can't I take? Ah, he wants g4. Wow. G4 and mate. Okay. But well, maybe I can play f4. Is that? Very crazy. Might be. So takes, takes, queen g4, queen g3 is my idea. And I think I'm gonna swap the queens and um, maybe try to get a slightly better endgame. See what he does. Yeah, it's good that he's thinking. So I'll pre-move this move, okay? He doesn't take, so we will take ourselves. And what move do I want to play here? E5, I think, is correct, or, or maybe not. Maybe just king g2. Maybe bring the king in, which is usually a good idea in the end games. Okay, king g3. Don't really understand. E5. If check, okay. So I'm gonna bring my king to e4, which seems like a good square for the king. And maybe in the future I can double on the g file to create some threats on the on on his own king, right? So let's go for it now. Rook g2. Yeah, I didn't like this f5. It gives me a gives me a pass pawn, and okay. Mm. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna sack the pawn. Uh, okay, takes takes. King e2. Don't want to give him d3. And now I'm gonna play rook h here, and rook h5 was my idea, but and. Let's try and take his pawns, right? Look, g5, g4, let's go. Pre move, check. Look, g7, check, take. King d3, maybe. e6, I don't want to draw. Let's go. Uh, e7. I need to play faster. Come on. King takes d4. Rook takes pre move. I need to play faster. He's too fast. Yes! Oh, it's stalemate. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I was low on time, so I guess the draw is okay. So one and a half to one and a half. Let's keep going. Yeah, so next time I shouldn't play exactly the same, probably. I should probably play bishop f1 in that position. So let's see how it goes. Okay, d4. So he's the one to change. d4, knight f6. I'm just going to play my normal repertoire. Ah, this move. 
So, okay, I'm going to play d5. I think it's theory. a3 takes, takes. And I'm already out of book. So I've, I've, I've studied this line, but I don't really remember how it goes. Knight takes d5. I, I remember some kind of weird f5. Ah, but I can't do it here. Wait, so knight takes c3, what's the idea? Can I take? It's so risky. Mm, maybe I shouldn't take. Okay. I chickened out, but it's okay. Okay, c5. I mean, I gave him the center, I gave him two bishops, I have to do something at least. So, knight, okay, so this move, okay, knight d5, maybe threatening knight takes c3, I guess. Okay, so he really wants to give me this. Um, hmm. I don't see why why I can't take. Ah, he wants to take on it. H. Ah, okay. So can I take on d4, maybe? Probably c takes d4, right? He'll so take on h7, king h8. And it's a very complicated position. I think, yeah, I'm an extra pawn, but two bishops and my king is slightly weak. So as long as his queen doesn't get to the h file, it should be fine. I think my next moves will be a bit easier. Maybe knight d7, knight c5, bring the bishop out. So nothing too crazy. Yeah, so b6. Want to bring my bishop to b7, queen to d5. If I get those two moves in, I should be doing pretty well. <laughs> okay, bishop b2. Should be seven. If he takes, turning his bishop, so that's okay. Knight g5, okay. So he wants to checkmate me. Pretty obvious. So queen d5. Queen d5. Ah, oh, rook f3. That's not good. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is this is very dangerous. I have to figure out something. Hmm. I play? What can I play? Okay, I'm gonna do a move that may be really good or really bad. <laughs> F5. So what my idea is to play maybe G6, King G7. Okay. I completely missed that move. Ah. Hmm. What can I play here to not resign? Maybe it's just dead lost. Or what was F5? F5 was very stupid. Okay, I have to play king here. But it's just dead lost. Yeah. Okay, so we have to resign that one. Yeah, I thought I, I must have had a good position, but then I got a bit overconfident. Let's see if he accepts. Okay. So let's repeat the same line. Okay, so he, he does something slightly different. So I'm, I'm going to just play... Something that's simple, solid. C3, rookie one, I D2. Just develop my pieces normally. 
Knight f1, knight g3. Knight f6, okay. So, hmm, what do we want to do here? e5 seems interesting. Let's go for it. So, yeah. If he takes, I'm going to take with my knight. And maybe there's some weaknesses on f7 or something. I guess he will take. I don't. Th I think it's the best move. If he plays knight d5, I don't think it's that good because I can play maybe knight e4 or something. So he plays this, which I don't really like. Okay, I'm gonna take knight e4, turning the pawn on d6. Who knows? Maybe he'll miss it. Okay. So now, I think I have a very comfortable position. Bishop f4. Two bishops. Um, hmm. Queen d2 maybe. Attacking h6. Maybe I can provoke some weaknesses. Okay. So now, I will play... What will I play? Maybe bishop g3. Now I urgently need to bring my bishop to c2 to try and create a battery with queen g3, try to create some threats. So yeah, I'm looking at moves like h4, queen d3, knight e5. Okay, so this game looks promising. Let's see. See if we can, he can go low in time. Queen g6. Okay. I'm gonna play knight e5. See what he wants to play. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So now I think. I'll just take, take with a pawn and then play queen d3. So now, yeah, it's not so clear what's going on. I think my advantage has sort of slipped. Yeah. Mm. I don't see how I can keep attacking him. So, yeah, that's a bit of a miss from my part. Now it's just up to playing fast and trying not to blunder. So, I mean, I mean, if he doesn't trade queens, he's going to have some problems with his king, I guess. Maybe. So, hmm. D4. It's a good move. Guess I'm going to throw in a check. Maybe gamble a little bit. Rook AD1. This might not be the best approach, but I have to do something. Bishop. D4. He can play queen takes e5, of course. Then I'll play rook d7. That's my idea. Okay. So he doesn't let me. I'm gonna play rook. Rook d6, maybe. Oh come on. Oh, I hanged my rook. He didn't see it. Oh, that was so bad. Ah, oh, need to wake up. So, okay, I'm going to retreat with my bishop, queen g3, come on, rook g7 is threatened, a4, let's just try to confuse him, doesn't do anything, 
queen b6, rook d8, takes, check, queen b6. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm too slow. Too slow. Oh, so th three and a half to one and a half. Could be worse. So yeah, he's a very tricky and fast player, which is usually a tough combination in bits. So now as black. He played d4, so I think I'm going to stick with the same opening, because so I didn't dislike my position in the previous game. Okay, so he plays knight f3 this game, okay. I'm going to play c5, which I like. This setup with my two pawns is sort of like a Maroxy, but reversed. a3, I'm going to play d6. B1, A5 to stop B4, Bishop E6. So he wants to play B4 anyway, okay? So I'm gonna play D5. Here, I think this is theory if I'm not mistaken. Um, of course, I don't remember it, but I think it is theory. Maybe Knight B5 here or something like that. Trying to go to d6. Okay, so b6. Defending pawn. Knight b5. Looks logical. Um, I'm going to play knight d4, turning his knight on b5. If he takes, I guess I take with the e pawn. Maybe try to pressure his e pawn in the future. Okay, so takes, takes, knight d5, I guess. Trying to get my, a knight into c3, looks decent. And I don't think he wants to give up his g2 bishop. That would weaken his light squares, so. So yeah, he can't stop my knight going into c3. Yeah, so as I, as I said, these matches usually come down to time, so super important to have the edge on time, which I haven't done so far, so... But okay, this game, I have 40 seconds more, so... That's good. That's good news. So what to play now? Queen d7 looks reasonable. Wait. Knight b4, queen a4. Bishop d7. Can I play knight b4? Bishop d7, knight d6. I don't know what's going on here. He has to go queen a4, if not I'm just winning the exchange. Queen a4, okay, so he just gives it the exchange. Which should be winning for me. But again, it's all about the time, isn't it? Yeah. So, how do I want to proceed? Queen d7, maybe? Or maybe queen e7. Queen e7, rook d8. Try to make it as simple as possible. Okay. Let's play rook c8, pinning his knight. And now we have to do something. h5, let's go. h5, h4, h3. Knight b3, okay, let's go h4. So maybe he wants knight a5 
to try to trick me. Okay, let's put the pawn on h3. So now there will always be some back rank problems for him. Okay. So now what do I want to do? Maybe rook c7, rook a7. Try to bring the rook this way. Ah, uh, but did I give him... Ah, doesn't matter. Oh, come on. What was... What was that? Oh, no. Oh. What was that? Just simply blundering. It's not going to get it done. Ah. It's really a shame. Because this game I was completely winning. Okay, we will still fight, of course, but... There's not really much to do here. Should be 7 Of course, I blunder this, but... Maybe it's not the end of the world. I mean, he's sort of making it hard on himself, but... There's no real issues here. My mouse is also really slow for some reason. I and mean, he just seems to be completely crushing me in the in the time scrambles. Yeah, well. It's just Yeah. Uh four and a half three Four and a half, one and a half. Okay, let's focus now. <laughs> yeah, rook a3 was just absolutely ridiculous. But okay. Let's try not to go on tilt. And keep fighting. a4. See what he wants to do now. Seems to like these perks. Okay, so let's play the Tarash. See what? Okay, H6. Should be an awful move, but who knows? Okay. So we've got a decent position here. Queen E2. Maybe c3, just develop our pieces normally. See how he wants to develop. Maybe e5 is an option. Uh, do I want to play e5? Probably not. Okay, I'll go rookie one again, waiting. See what, see what he wants to do, really. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to go e5. Oh, knight, knight g4. Okay. So let's just go back. F5. This looks pretty bad for him, but who knows. So, takes, takes. Let's go knight b3 probably. Queen c2, knight d4. Normal moves. <laughs> okay, let's try to get another win. Here, okay. Interesting. So, probably should have played the other knight to d4. But Okay, bishop e3, see what he wants to do. He has weak pawns, so I should try to exploit that. Let's just take, 
maybe bishop d4. Try to play solidly, right? Yeah. So if it takes, obviously, I'm going to take with the c pawn. So we probably won't do that. Probably queen d6 looks natural. And then maybe b4 is interesting. Okay, so he doesn't want to do anything there. So I'll, I'm going to put the knight on e5. And perhaps f4. Well, f4 is too much, I think, yeah. So I guess I should take here. Maybe I'm blundering some knight takes e3, but maybe. <laughs> I don't think it should work. And if he doesn't take, then just queen c2, I guess. And yeah, I think again, we have a decent position. So he wants to take, so I'll play e3. So b4 isn't hanging. And maybe I want to play f3, kick his knight away, rook e1. Okay, so g3 maybe. Does he want f4 now, maybe? Okay. So rook e1. We're getting into time trouble again. Hopefully... We can do better in the time this time, right? Okay. He wants f3. Okay, I think I blundered something. He's probably going to take, okay, f4. Look, he won. Takes. Try not to, let's try to play fast here. Queen f2. I want to play f5. Okay. Rook h1. Don't want to let him push h4, rook e1. Okay. Let's take. Take. Here. Let's run. How is he so fast? <laughs> he always has more time, it's, it's amazing. Um, is he threatening checkmates? I don't think so. Now I'm about to queen, but again, time is a huge factor. Just too slow, for God's sake. Oh, okay, that's it. I have to literally play every move in w under one second, or else. Es que por tiempo voy fatal. Venga. Yeah, I don't know if it's my mouse that's too slow, or maybe my internet is too slow. I don't know which of the two. So yeah, sorry if I speak less, but I have to play faster. Okay, so d5. We can just go back. C6. Take should be should be a decent position, I guess. So I'm gonna play for a6 b5. It's a normal plan in these positions. 
sort of like a dragon, but not exactly. Knight d5. So what do I want to do here? Hmm. Maybe knight e4 and take. And now play b5 maybe. Not sure if this is any good. Okay. Slightly annoying position. I think I'm going to play e6. Looks a bit... Looks a bit dangerous, doesn't it? Yeah. Because my diagonal is now very weak. So I'm going to have to be careful. Maybe some knight e3, knight g4, knight h6 mates. So... Hmm. Not loving my position. Gotta say. So let's see what what he wants to do. I might look to trade queens at some point with queen f6. Because the end games usually are good for black. Wait, what is this? Is some sort of so it takes, I guess is the critical move. This guy like a genius or something. I guess I have to take. Do I take on c6? Yeah, I guess I take on c6. So, yeah. After all the combination, he basically gets a slightly better position. But, yeah. Shouldn't be too bad. Rook e8, queen b7 maybe. Don't see why it should be that much worse. h5. I mean, it's worse, but... Hmm. Rook d8. Not sure how I'm supposed to set up my pieces best way. Probably d5, rook d6. Can I play? Okay, I just have to play quickly. Rook d6, rook d8, queen e6, just play quickly. Rook d7, queen takes, king a7, queen e6, okay, I blundered a pawn, that's fantastic. Queen f5. Queen e4, I'm not sure if this is a draw or not, doesn't matter. Um, yeah. I think it's a draw, but obviously he doesn't care. He's just gonna flag. Okay. Yeah, okay. So now it's Tsuk Chuang, is it? Ah, okay, I have to play a five. So now he can play king. What can he play? Ah, and I just blundered. Yeah, not good. Ah. Six and a half to one and a half. Yeah, this is not going very well, <laughs> but we have to keep fighting. Yeah, as I said, he's, a, he's very fast and very, very practical. I think he, I've played him before and he's a very practical player. D4. Queen 
Queen b6, this is sort of a sideline. So I think you go queen e2, bishop d2 here. But don't really remember the line really. a5, okay. So I guess a4, stop him from kicking my knight. And my plan, I guess, is just g4. Let's go. G4, G5. D5, yeah. This is probably the correct way to play. And now, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna try to attack him here. I mean, I'm really down on the map, so. There's nothing to lose, really. Ah! Oh. Why did I... Ah, oh, okay. Oh, I pre-moved. I pre-moved the wrong move. That's annoying. Oh. Oh, just when things couldn't get worse. Okay. So let's pretend like I sacrificed the pawn. Now, now 94 is just crushing. Hmm. 94, what I want to do. Yeah, this is just completely lost. Queen d3. Knight f2 now, yeah. I'll try to continue, but not looking good. Bishop d3 maybe. Yeah. Rookie one. Hmm. Yeah, this is resignable. We got one. He obviously won't take the pawn in g4. No. Okay, let's go g5. Maybe queen f3, queen h5. This is my last hope. Okay, takes, takes. There, b4, I guess I have to play. King a2. Okay, there's one trick here. He can't take because of... Bishop takes h7. Okay, he saw it. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to resign this one. Mm. Seven and a half to one and a half. Okay, so... I cannot lose any more games, <laughs> or else the match is over. E4, okay. Okay, I'm gonna try and mix it up a little bit with Sicilian. Knight c3, okay. He doesn't want to go into main lines, I guess. So, okay, knight f6. Looks logical. Okay, I'm just, just going to take. And this, the, I usually like these structures with black. Pawn on c5. They're quite easy to play, I think. Okay, bishop b3. Should try not to blunder with b6. 
I'll just take. I think bishop takes is normal here. Okay, he takes with a pawn also possible. Yeah, and it makes sense, I guess, if he's so far ahead in the match. I'll play, I mean, I have to keep the queens on, I guess. So now I want to play b6, bishop b7, rook d8. Try to develop my pieces. Knight f4. Don't really see the point of that move. Mm, let's go bishop f6. C3. Bishop f6 was just not good. I think his idea is knight d5 if I go b6. I mean, uh, okay, I'll play it. Just to, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go back, I guess. And queen g4. Looks pretty annoying. I have to go g6. Then I'm threatening 95, I guess. But yeah. E5. Seems like a pretty good move. Bishop B7, I guess. But it's just so bad. It's gonna go Queen G4. Ah, but maybe, no. I, can, I don't know. What can I do here? I mean, he's gonna play Queen G4, so... I might as well play this move. Might look suicidal, but I have to do something. I'm gonna take e5, rook d8, something like this. Bishop h6, yeah. Rook d8, queen g4. I mean, again, my position shouldn't be that bad, I don't think. But time is just such a crucial factor. So I'm going to play knight d8. Point being, if he ever gets his queen to h6, I can protect the mate from e6. Okay. I guess I have to take. Although I can play queen d7. Yeah, this looks better. I'm gonna follow up with knight e6. Knight e6, rook d8. Um, okay, let's try not to blunder like before. Queen takes f6. Yeah. I mean, it's probably a draw, but we probably won't even take the draw, <laughs> given my lack of speed. I mean, if I try to play fast, I blunder, but if I don't blunder, I end up losing by time, right? Okay. I guess this is a draw. I'm gonna offer a draw, but he has no no reason to accept. Okay, he accepted. That's kind of nice of him. So I mean, at least the match isn't over yet. Still have one. Still has one more game to draw. So it's basically all out now. Okay, e4, let's go. Okay, my aim for this game is just gonna be to be up on time, if possible. So let's do that. Okay, so 
we actually played this in our game, the Sveshnikov, although I played bishop g5 in that game. So, let's see what he wants to, what, okay, so, a4, I guess. This is kind of trendy now with the games of Magnus and Fabiano. So I guess it's pretty good. Okay, bishop f5. I'm not sure about that move, because usually, usually they want to put their pawn on f5 to attack. So now, it should be a decent position for me. Okay. So they usually put a, a bishop on b4, which is kind of weird, but... I mean, I guess it attacks d6, and I will take on c5 if he allows me, because d takes c5, d6 should be good for me. So, rook c8, knight takes a7, and if a6 first, then knight a3, knight c4, knight b6. Okay, so he goes back. Obviously, we cannot take a draw. So... We have to continue here. Queen d7, queen d2. Let's let's start pushing our pawns. B4, let's go. I guess this is the sort of game I want. Sort of a scramble here. Um, let's go f3. I don't. I'm not sure about f3, it sort of weakens my dark squares, but I didn't want any f3 sacrifices, so... So my next moves are pretty simple. Rook c1, rook d1. Okay. Okay, this is a pretty typical sacrifice. Bishop b5. So, let's, let's go c5, we have to do something. Okay. Let's... Let's take on d6. Let's try and get his bishop pair. And, yeah, I mean, should be a good position. Queen d4. The small trick. I wonder if you will see it. Okay, he saw it. Bishop b2 again. Okay, now he wants to do the trick on me. So bishop f3, I guess. Rook e2, yes. Okay. It's a good move. You have to retreat. Queen takes. But this isn't good, is it? No. This game is sort of slipping. I should have taken... Okay. Rook c7. Let's, Let's try and... No, okay, I still have this move. Yeah, I'm just missing moves right now. It's kind of the issue. Mm. What can I play here? It's just an annoying position. He's, he's turning 93. Mm. Not good. Okay, let's, let's play queen. Ah. Mm. Queen d2 maybe. But I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, I guess we just have to hold on somehow. Maybe queen f2, but it looks... No, that doesn't look good. Look f2, let's... Maybe this does something. Okay, let's take here. If he takes, I will trade. Queen takes b7. I think this is a perpetual, but... I just have to go all out. So g6, I have king e6, queen f6, I have king e4. 
I should try to escape this way. Let's try not to um, lose this one by time, which would be a real shame. But it seems like we're on the good track to losing it by time. Yes, yes, <laughs> a win, which was much needed. Oh, that feels really good. Obviously, the match is still probably lost, but at least we got a win. Uh, he's probably not happy about that one. <laughs> I mean, should really have been a draw, but I mean, he did he did win his few games by time, so I guess it's fair. Okay, knight h4. I'm not really familiar with this move, so knight g4 is kind of not doing anything. I don't know why I played it. But at least they made him think. So now, yeah, I'm just pro probably going to play castle c6, d5. But the issue is I've now allowed him to play some g4 maybe. Okay, that's not very scary. Okay, so I'm going to bring my knight to e5. Which is typical in these positions. And now, what do I want to play? Yeah, I'm very slow. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something that's a bit risky, but it might pay off. Who knows? Okay. Need to play faster, bishop d7. Okay, so if he wants to go long, I'm gonna just throw a4 at him. So now knight g4. So takes, takes. My king is quite open, but surprisingly safe because he doesn't really have that much coordination, I think. I'm going to take knight g4. Wait, can I? Is this. Maybe it's not good. Maybe I should play bishop f6 first, yeah. Just in case rook h8 was an issue. And now he cannot castle, I think, because of knight g4 and f2 is falling. And yeah, knight g4. Queen b6, maybe. E3 as well as an option. Okay, so let's play queen b6. Threatening the pawn on f2. Okay. So I really, really don't want to exchange these guys. So I think I have to go back. I have to take here. I don't understand that move by him. Why, why did he give his bishop? Now suddenly my position looks good again. So I'm going to give a check and bring my queen back to... Okay, so he doesn't mind the trade. Interesting. Okay. So king g7. My king is no longer weak. But his might be. So I want to bring my bishop maybe to b4 or c5, some more active squares. Uh, rook 
where do I want to put my rook? Rook on d8, bishop e6. Yeah, bishop e6 looks all right. And I think we're going to be a pawn up. And actually with a very decent position. But not a very decent clock. Come on, have to play faster. Again, my position should be very good, but it's all it's all about the clock, isn't it? King f6, should be 4. Ah, but this was a very bad decision. Now it's just a draw. Yeah, now it's just a draw. I mean, I have to go for it, but this isn't really a... Oh, but I should have gone a4, of course. Yeah, I think the match is over, fortunately. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I would have wanted to perform a little bit better, but I think it all came down to the fact that he was a lot faster. But I thought I did play some decent games. Well, yeah. Hans. A very, very fast player, no? A very fast player. Uh, yeah. Player. Yeah, he's very fast. I, I, I didn't really think he was that fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, good match. On the finally, not bad. Yeah, I started strong, but he started racking up wins. So, yeah. Well, okay. thank you, Lance. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye.